Good afternoon. I think I'm the only Spanish speaker today. So I'm going to answer this question, but with your help. So I'm going to ask you, to everyone, to pay attention and participate on my talk, because I'm not going to explain everything. You have to help me with this. So can we really, really, really use technology to empower people and build real relationships? That's the question we're going to try to answer together this afternoon. So there are a lot of platforms, different platforms. Uh, I think that maybe not hundreds, but thousands, thousands in the world you, uh, where you can build a community. I'm going to talk about the one that I know better, Facebook, because I use it for my community. So I think these numbers are interesting to have, to give us perspective of uh, how many people need this community thing. So 1.8 billion people use Facebook groups every month. What is a Facebook group? Facebook group is a tool designed by Facebook that um, gives us the capability to um, make communities or bring people together, no? They are their specialty. So there's over seven, 70 million admins and moderators running active Facebook groups. So imagine how many groups or Facebook groups there are on Facebook, millions. So, but what is a community? So I look for the exact uh, definition on the Cambridge Dictionary to bring uh, today for you. So the people, is people living in one particular area or people who are considered as a unit because of their common interest, social group or nationality. If we go deep and, find, and look for the internet uh, definition, they tell us uh, on social media is a group of people who have similar interests or who want to achieve something together. But I'm going to go further. To have a community, in order to have a community, in my experience, you have to build relationships. And that's the key, relationship. But because it's not only like reuniting people with the same interests, you have to build a, really, a real relationship with them. So that's the key. We have to, to keep that in mind. I'm going to, to tell a little bit more about myself. We're going to travel on DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when I was like 19 years old, I started my path on entrepreneurship. I'm now 36 years old, so I have been here <laughs> a while. Um, I, 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 were, I was an entrepreneur when I was on the university. I, I paid for my university with my company, my first company. It was a little company of computers, uh, retailing, and I, get to pay, I got to pay my university career with that comp company. But, but then, when I became a mom, years later, I, I, I tried to come back to, to entrepreneurship and I realized it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same being an entrepreneur, like without kids, like being an entrepreneur with kids. Because I was like, I don't know, trying to manage all my time in the same way I managed my time and my priorities when I was in the university. And it doesn't work <laughs> like that because you, when you became a mom, it's more or less you, you are not completely owning your time because there are uh, uh, other people that depend on you. So um, I was like, I don't know how to be an entrepreneur anymore. It, maybe I forgot how to run a business or I don't know. So what did I do? I went to Google, of course, and I looked for, uh, is, is it possible to forget Mm, to be a businesswoman, or uh, try in Spanish, of course. <laughs> and nothing, of course, came back to that, um, to that um, search. And then I tried to look the same, to look for the same in Spanish. Um, and in, in Spanish, no, sorry, in English. And I found a lot of communities in English that helps mom entrepreneurs around the world 
to run their businesses. I was like, why there's any communities in Spanish to help moms? There's not mom entrepreneurs that speak Spanish or something kind of. So I entered those communities and they saved my life. I always like to say that they saved my life because if I haven't found them, I, I probably will um, quit on my idea of being an entrepreneur and being a mom <laughs> at the same time. So I learn from them, they support me, they teach me how to manage my, my time that was the, the thing that was different from my uh, and past experiences. And when I was ready, I was like, okay, I think that mm, there's no um, mom entrepreneurs community in Spanish, but it, what if I create that? What if I try to create a community that, su that supports women um, that speak Spanish all around the world? So, of course, I did it. <laughs> um, it's been the wildest <laughs> um, ride, besides being a mom, of course, <laughs> that I ever, I ever took. Because I realized um, in, in my own flesh, bro, uh, the power of the communities. Because mm, yes, they, they saved my life. But with this, I was able to save like thousands of women's lives. Not myself, but all the people that are in the community. Mm, each people in their specialty. For example, there are, I don't know, experts on the DIG or um, uh, web developers coaches, there are like, imagine 10,000 women together, how can they do, or how can they help each other? So um, I asked them, because I wanted to bring them to this talk today, so I asked them this, what opportunities does technology bring you within your business and your personal life? Because I don't, I don't want to share only my story. I want to, to know, I wanted to know what has helped them using, using this Facebook group that is online. That because we all um, work from home I use, and use technology every day to, to work and to reach every part of the, of the world. So I bring some like, statements that they, they send me. For example, Daiva, she said, it helps me to connect with people all around the world, of course. It saves me money. I don't have to travel. It gives me more free time to use with my family, of course. That's important for us. Online tools help me manage my life more easily. With one click, you can be trained in whatever you want. So it's a world of opportunity for her, of course. So Leila says that it gives me the opportunity to work wherever I am. It's easiest, it eases my work and my clients' work. It brings my family closer. All of them are 9,000 uh, kilometers away from me. My parents are able to see their grandson day by day. So what is the goal of bringing this here to, to you. I want you to, to witness in a first person how technology can impact real people's life. Because we usually talk about the projects like, yes, I'm creating this and it's amazing. I, I have heard all the talks and I was like, wow. Okay? But we, we talk in like in a higher level. But we ha I, I love to know what is in, um, behind, that's it. What, what is, what is, who is the person that is um, behind, that is benefiting from that? Leila, Daiva, Sandra, my friend that is over there, and a lot of women, because they are my fuel. I dedicate, I don't know, countless hours a week to run this free group to help them. It's like a, a way to, to give them back what they give me, that group on the United States. So um, I think that 
knowing um, the story of the people that are behind our uh, entrepreneur uh, um, or, or behind our work give us, give us like the perspective and the strength of why we are doing this. Who lives we are changing, really? Because I'm a living um, proof that all this technology can save, save your life. Because if I was on Google and <laughs> find that, um, that group in, in, in English, probably I, I wouldn't be here today. So they save my dreams because I really wanted to be an entrepreneur. I don't, I don't want it to, to be like, I don't know, working countless hours in, on the in corporate where I was like for a few years. Um, and they change, they, they, ha they give me the, the opportunity to do what, what I was dreaming. So I'm going to, to keep reading some, some, um, some unnoticed for, for you to know them. Amalia Molina. It helps me to reach more people all around the world. When I was, um, when my when my son was born, I had another um, project that was called Motiva Box, and I run it from here, from Madrid, on Mexico and the States. So it's awesome <laughs> for me to be able to reach whatever I, whenever I want. So, but being, being here, they, they usually ask me, like, how do you do it? You have to send a box full of things, and, and they reach, I don't know, uh, the UK or, or Mexico or Colombia. It's, it's like, I don't know, it, it amazes me <laughs> because we have, like, the world in our hand, thanks to technology. So I'm, I'm going to keep reading. It saves me time and money, the same that... Um, that Lila, I think, said, I can work with a team that is dispersed throughout the country. It gives me more free time to enjoy with my family and friends. It can be closer, I can be closer to my clients. I'm able to learn new things from home. But Sandra, that is over there. It gives me the opportunity to work online. I can reach all my team, clients, and collaborators. On a personal level, it gives me the opportunity to contact my family that lives on the other side of the world, because she's from Mexico, friends, and to be part of tribes of women who up-level my life skills and self-awareness. I think at, the, at this point, is, um, it can be good to, to say that um, sometimes we just have to ask for help. I was like, OK, I need help. I need someone to tell me I'm, I'm, I'm enough to do this. I'm, I'm, I can do it. I need some support. I can remember the speaker who, who said that um, she has um, like someone who cheering, like, you can do it. Sometimes when you are an entrepreneur, that's very, very important. Because being an entrepreneur is a really lonely path. So you work a lot of hours probably by your, by your computer with your dog <laughs> or, or alone. It's like crickets. Ree, ree. So having someone to, to tell you, you can do it. Maybe you can try this. Or have you think about doing this way things? So I think that communities and people, people, it's very important to take that into account not only because um, of the impact we can make of them, sino, no, but they <laughs> are mixing. <laughs> but uh, the impact they can make on us. So people is very important. Technology is very, very important because they can bring us together and closer and give us a lot of opportunities. But people, I think, is the missing key that needs to fix on that puzzle to make it like, wow, the greatest. Pepa, she is bueno, from Los Viajes de Pepa. It's like Pepa Travels or something. It gives me the opportunity uh, to balance work and family life. It helps me to know very quick, quickly what my clients want. It stimulates my, creat stimulates my creativity. It helps me to connect to other entrepreneurs. This is vital, of course. 
Mari Carmen, that is um, on the like our ad dinosaur adventures.com or something. Without technology, I wouldn't be able to keep learning so often, meeting new people, clients, etc. All the things that you are building, or all that TED Pro um, projects, that's what <laughs> they do. They help people, real people, that are whatever in the world. So I think that's very important to keep the, the light on here. It has helped me to realize I'm capable and more than enough. Same that happened to me. Even if my entrepreneurship is not inside my professional area. Well, the same that uh, you were commenting. I can remember your name. I'm sorry. Lawrence. Lawrence. OK. Um, it improves my life quality and well-being. To connect with people helps me to feel alive. That's very huge. <laughs> you need to connect. So you, you have the, the need to connect with people, and technology can give you the, like, the sense that you are living, and you, have, like, you are doing what you want to do, and you are like alive. Oh, I'm doing what I go love. Mabel, that is the CEO of Superadmin. That is, that is a hosting, um, that is a hosting uh, company. It gives me the opportunity to access massive knowledge. I'm able to compete with large companies. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to start my own business. On a personal level, the internet allows me to know wonderful people every day. I'm being and being to be closer and being to be closer to my mom who is thousands of kilometers away from me Eleonora who is a um, Pilates virtual teacher said technology is everything I need today to run my business I have summarized all the reasons they gave me technology has given us a platform to run an, a business location free and with lower expenses. Sometimes people just can't afford to be an entrepreneur or think that they, are, they can afford. So internet and technology give also the opportunity to start not from zero, but with lowest, lowest expenses. So it helps us to level up our knowledge and self-awareness. It helps us to grow our business in a worldwide scale. It saves us time and money. It makes our life easier. It helps us to balance our professional life with our personal life. That is very important for a mom. <laughs> it gives us the opportunity of being closer to people that live, that live far from us. That's especially important for people like me. I was born in Venezuela, but I have been living here in Madrid like 20 years now. So this gives me the opportunity, technology gives me the opportunity to be closer for my friends, family, um, whatever <laughs> they are like all around the world. You can meet interesting people easily. You can find support and a tribe to make your path more smooth. Someone that tells you like you can do it. So here are the statistics of our group. We start um, on February, like 1,500 being members on the group. What happened when COVID came all that year to the end of the year? We grow 400%. Yes, that's amazing. <laughs> we were like 1,000, and we became almost 5,000 in in a year. That's very very huge. So what? this can, can tell us people need to be together. They are all entrepreneurs, mostly women entre um, mom entrepreneurs, mothers are, are entrepreneurs. So we need to have someone who supports us and like make smooth our path uh, of growing or starting or scaling whatever our business. So. COVID just, I think that just has like speed up things and make them more evident to us. So 
the same question uh, when I was uh, starting our, my presentation is, can we use technology to empower people and build real relationship? What do you think? Is that a yes? Yes. I don't know. Yes? <laughs> and what can you do or what, or what can we do to do this? What do you think? I think you should do what, what you are doing right now. You just keep dreaming, keep saying what if, keep building amazing things, keep challenging, challenging the status quo or everything. But I'm going to ask not to forget the people that you are like helping or impacting because they are people like us. You are changing their lives forever, sometimes. So just keep that in mind and do <laughs> what you are doing uh, right now. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.